Jesus. Guys, welcome back to the channel. You may be thinking, why am I staring at a 14 plate Audi? Well, it's a very good question. Recently, Audi have released the S4, S5, S6 and S7 for the first time ever with a diesel engine. So what's that got to do with this? Well, this car changed the way I look at diesels. And so let's take a look and I'll explain exactly why. So guys, welcome inside the SQ5. And yes, why am I showing you this car? What was it got to do with, with the recent news of Audi releasing their new S products with diesel engines? Well, this car is also a diesel. Um, it was going against the grain at Audi when the S3, S4, S5, 6, 7, all of them, the RS products were all petrol. It's got a three litre V6 by turbo diesel um, producing 313-ish horsepower there was a plus model which is 340 but really there's not much difference in uh, in 060 but 060 this car was quicker than a Porsche Cayman when it was new it's 5.1 seconds to 60 that's nuts from an SUV uh, yes it's got quattro like the S and RS products do with Audi as uh, so it's got all-wheel drive uh, which does really help so why, yeah, why did this car change my mind? Well, diesels were, as we all know, a bit boring, didn't rev very high, they didn't sound very good at all, uh, and ultimately they were just people who wanted to do a load of miles, oh lovely, a load of miles, and just get really good fuel economy, right? Well, that, that's fine. But this particular car changed my view on diesels because, listen to how, this, how good this car sounds. Let me just put it into, into sport. Let me just put the window down. Listen to this. I'm gonna kick it, this manual, ready? Jesus. That sounds ridiculous. Now I'm gonna do it again, hang on, let me just, let me go down to first. Okay. Right, I'm gonna go into manual again. Right, are you ready? <laughs> this is just insane. How good does that sound for a diesel engine? So the reason it sounds so good is because mostly it's tuning. There's a, I think there's an amplifier in the exhaust that makes it sound a little bit better. Some, some sound comes through the speakers to make it amplify a little bit. But this car sounds like a V8, and I'm not lying to you. Yes, it doesn't rev as high as a V8, so you don't get that high-end stuff, but the low-down stuff... Jeez! Right, I'm gonna the window up. This car is, honestly, it's so far. Let me put it into manual. This car, honestly, can you hear it? Oh, brakes are so, so good. I think you could get this car with carbon. So oh my God, this car, this car, I, this, this is exactly the point. So yes, the speed, the engine, the gearbox, the brakes, the steering. Oh, it's just so good. That definitely adds. Oh, God, it's so good. It's so poised. It's so sharp. This, the speed and the everything definitely added to this car and made me fall in love with it. But it's just that engine note. For a diesel, it sounds incredible. And unfortunately, oh, God, it's just so addictive. And it's so, so quick. Let me just slow down because it is super quick. I'll put it in drive and we'll, uh, we'll slow down a little bit. This is where the conversation gets interesting. So we all know that Audi released the S4 S5, S6, S7, and actually the SQ5, uh, as well as SQ7, SQ8, with diesel engines. And everyone was like, what on earth are Audi doing? Have they gone berserk bonkers? Because no one's buying diesels anymore. Their government are putting taxes on them, additional to, uh, like for example, in London, congestion charges, another, another diesel charge. Uh, taxes are going up on some of the diesel cars. So why on earth would you still buy one? Well, if we actually think about it, yes, people are making it more expensive but 
They still do the same job. They still are more economical uh, if you're doing the right distance. If you, if you calculate your miles right, then you are going to be doing better miles behind on this and ultimately save a little bit of money. Um, so, yeah, wh- why, is, why is there such a hatred to diesel at the moment? Well, I, I do think most of it is because of uh, what's in the papers, uh, what all the different journalists are saying. But when you actually look at it, this car is fantastic. There is nothing wrong with this car. But so many people say, I'm buying a petrol, I'm buying a hybrid, whatever it may be. I just want to touch diesels. And there's not really that much reason behind it. Um, yes, obviously, it's more expensive. And that's, uh, that is a good reason. And so if, th- if that's going to be the reason you don't buy a diesel anymore, then absolutely fine. But Audi clearly have invested a lot of time and money into making their cars diesel. Um, they've also introduced a 48-volt mild hybrid system it doesn't mean the car goes on electric but it does mean that you almost fills the gap that a turbo might have that lag in it's almost like an extra bit of torque which on the s4 s5 s6 s7 700 newton meters of torque that is so much torque and it really does fit it's that low down ground that in this car you really feel and in those cars you will feel them actually Yes, the S4, 5, 6, 7 have never been diesels before. They've always been petrols. And so they've had the higher revving and that kind of really nice exhaust note. They're now changed to a little bit like the diesels. And they, unfortunately, they don't sound as good as this particular SQ5 um, because they don't have the bi-turbos. And I think they just don't, don't sound quite as good. Unfortunately, I haven't got my hands on one, but from what I've seen from a lot of the view reviews online, they sound really, really good still. Uh, they've got a really good delivery. Um, they are driving really nicely. So actually, I'm well behind Audi doing this as, uh, as, as diesels. Now, don't get me wrong. I would have been fine with the petrols, and they've still reserved the petrol for the RS products. Maybe I would have liked the S6, S7 to still be the 4-litre V8s, um, because there was something quite sexy about that. It was not the RS6 or RS7, uh, but it was still like quite exciting. It sounded good, and people were like, "Oh, what's that?" But it was quite subtle. I really liked that about those cars. Um, but nowadays, you, you know, you're going to benefit from better fuel economy, uh, which is obviously helped by that 48, uh, 48 volt mild hybrid system, which they say is there to reduce emissions and increase fuel economy, which which is great. It will coast, uh, the engine will cut off uh, in between kind of 34, 35 miles per hour and kind of I think 80 or 90, whatever it is. So obviously that's going to save you a little bit of money as well. Um, so yeah, ultimately they've, they've done something interesting with this car. Um, I'll be interested to see what the sales are like of those cars. Because obviously, as we know, um, diesels have taken a hit and the electric market, the hybrid market and the petrol market have, have definitely grown. Um, so it is, does make me think how well are they going to sell and so that will only be you know time will tell on that one but yeah I don't think people should be afraid um, diesels aren't as scary as a lot of people think um, as long as they're not making them too expensive which I know dealers will definitely especially Audi being that they're supporting diesel with the, the new S products being diesel they'll definitely be helping out with contributions and things if you're looking at financing and, and that kind of thing so they'll definitely be helping out and it's not something, something to shy away from but ultimately, all of you that are watching this video are probably going to be, I won't say petrol heads because this is a diesel, but ultimately car people. Um, you guys are going to know about how fast it is, how good it is to drive, how it handles. Regardless of what you put in when you fill up at a petrol station or, or well, I'll say a fuel station, it doesn't really matter because ultimately all, it's all about the drive. Um, and I think that is what you need to remember if you're looking at an S, an S product that's now a diesel. So unfortunately, I can't get hold of an S4, S5, all those kind of cars um, because I haven't really got the relationship with Audi to do that. Um, I really hope that at some point I can because I'm, I am a big Audi fan. Obviously, I worked there for a long time. I'm a big Audi, uh, Audi lover. So uh, I really hope that at some point I can do something with Audi. Um, but just to cover off what the new cars are looking like, across the range, they've got new front bumpers, new back bumpers, new grills, new side lines so they've got a bit more of a sweeping line they've also got all the new tech in terms of lighting outside and inside uh inside as well uh, very similar to be honest uh, but they have got some touch screens and voice commands which are really cool and something that we haven't actually seen on audis yet um unless you've seen the new q7 new q8 uh, new a8 new a6 okay i don't know why i said that there are loads loads of audis with touch so yeah, it's nice to see that Audi are embracing some new technology. They've always been really, really hot when it comes to tech, and I've always loved them out of Mercedes-Benz, 
uh, BMW and Audi. I've always loved them the most in terms of their interiors. Um, some of their cars have been quite interesting to look at, but ultimately I think across the range, they've got the best looking cars uh, that you can buy at the moment in that kind of category. Okay, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a pull out on this junction because you are gonna see how fast this car goes. It is insane. Hang on two seconds. Oh, jeez, right, I'm already, blind me, this car is so, it's so, so quick. A, it sounds amazing. B, it's so, so quick. So why am I driving this car? Well, fortunately, I, uh, I managed to get that keys off for just today. Um, just have a little drive of it because I think Audi are trying to encompass what I love about this car into the new cars. So it's why I wanted to kind of come back because for me, this is where the S Diesel product started, which is with this car. And um, this car came out, I think, in maybe 2013. Uh, with the, the first SQ5 as a diesel uh, and obviously then have been since until it kind of have a bit of a blip uh, and changed kind of a couple of years ago uh, to petrol but it's now back to diesel and believe me from someone who's drive, driven a lot of Audis I love this car it's something about it it's just got this really strong really kind of intimidating drive sound look to it that I think some of the petrol cars don't have. They have kind of finesse and maybe a little bit of refinement. This car feels, again, I'll say, I said it before, it feels almost like that kind of V8 uh, Mustang. It does have that kind of sexy, angry, aggressive feel that ultimately you don't get in petrol cars as much. You just get in those V8 big diesel engines. So this video has really been to address Audi's move to diesel um, because it's not something to be shied away from. It's something to, because ultimately I think they've had to do it. I think it's something to embrace because this car changed the way I look at diesels. Years and years ago, I think it was brilliant. And so these cars can change the way you look at diesels. Um, I think there's maybe a lot of press of how they shouldn't have done it. The market at the moment is looking badly on diesels. And so why bring out some of your best cars as diesels? But it's not a problem. It's really, really not. Because if you drive one and you embrace it, you're gonna really, really love it. Um, please make sure to subscribe so you can see the future videos and hopefully I'll do a lot, lot more soon. Um, and like and comment what you thought of this video. But for now, I'll see you very, very soon. Up.